Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, good morning, everyone. And I am Brad Anderson. I'm the state director for AARP Iowa. And I really want to thank you for joining us virtually this morning. As you may be aware, um, we were supposed to have our lobby day at the Capitol today, where we were going to see a bunch of AARP volunteers in uh, our famous red vests. Uh, but Winter Storm Olive kind of forced us to make a change in our direction here. So we're hosting this press conference virtually. So again, appreciate you joining us. Today, I'm really pleased to be joined by Dr. Anuj Bhargava, uh, who is the CEO and medical director of Iowa Diabetes. And he can speak firsthand to the importance of ensuring insulin is affordable to all Iowans. Um, before I turn it over to Dr. Bargava, I just want to provide a little background uh, as far as this issue and where we are as an organization, AARP, and what we want to see happen. So as many of you are aware, last year AARP fought incredibly hard to get prescription drug cost relief into the Inflation Reduction Act, which was signed into law by President Biden last August. And so included in the bill were several key items, including uh, Medicare negotiations, so allowing the government to use the power of Medicare to negotiate lower prescription drug costs, um, a $2,000 out-of-pocket cap uh, for, uh, for on, on costs of prescription drugs for those on Medicare, free shingles vaccines for those on Medicare, and of course, a $35 per month cap on insulin for those on Medicare Part D. And so the Inflation Reduction Act was great news for older Iowans. We were very pleased to see it pass and signed into law. However, while more than 18,000 Iowans on Medicare will now save on average $725 per year on insulin, there are still many not on Medicare who struggle to afford their full insulin dose. And so the Iowa Insurance Division estimates around 245,000 Iowans are on health insurance plans regulated by the state. And here in Iowa, those plans have no caps on insulin. So this means Iowans on these plans could continue paying hundreds of dollars per month for insulin, which as we all know, was a drug invented 100 years ago. So AARP would like to see a state cap on insulin costs, somewhere between $35 and $100 per month. Uh, such a cap has been passed in the House previously uh, in 2021. It has received broad bipartisan support in the past, and we believe the time has come to get this bill uh, to the finish line. So now I would like to turn it over to Dr. Anuj uh, Bhargava, who is an endocrinologist and the CEO and medical director of Iowa Diabetes to talk about the direct impact a state insulin cap would have on Iowans with diabetes and prediabetes. So Dr. Bargava. Brad, thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me and thank you for championing this extremely important cause. Uh, as a background endocrinologist and since 1994, I've been very interested in trying to change diabetes in any way I can. And that's why this is so important to me. I mean, we have some amazing insulins. This 100 year journey of insulin, when it was sold by the discoverers for a dollar to today, and so many new insulins and biosimilars. And then uh, I get excited about that, but then I get disheartened by what I see in my practice. And what I see is this, just last week, a patient of mine, uh, a younger patient type one diabetes, and she was very honest and she said, you know, I didn't show up uh, for a year, I had to make a choice. I can afford my insulin or my food, grocery and shelter, or I can come and see you. People have to make ch choices. Diabetes, especially insulin requiring diabetes is a 24 seven burdensome disease. So when people have these struggles, they should not need to make these choices. Insulin is an essential medication. Insulin is not optional. It's not one of those, oh yeah, nice to have this medication. It's an essential medicine. And there's no justification that people should struggle or ration insulin. Now rationing of insulin, this happens a lot. One in four people do it on insulin, one in four. Why? Again, the cost. What does rationing do? Well, rationing does that their blood sugars are higher, 
they don't feel good. They have complications of diabetes, eye disease, kidney disease, nerve damage. Just as a reminder, diabetes is the leading cause of blindness in adults, leading cause of kidney failure, and leading cause of non-traumatic amputations. These are the complications we want to avoid, and insulin can do that. So then why is insulin so expensive? It does not make sense. It simply does not make sense. I see the clinical impact. I see the financial impact on the patient. I see the psychological impact, the stress from not only diabetes, but all this expensive medications. Um, and what I say is simply this, this is not acceptable. We are in the United States. We're in the great state of Iowa. It is simply not acceptable that people are finding it hard to afford insulin. People are rationing insulin. Jesse Lutchen died a few years ago in Iowa because he lost his job and then he rationed insulin and he died. Not acceptable, it's not okay. It's not okay in our state. So my clear ask is simply this, I truly support this. We need to put a cap on insulin. And if the U US has been able to do it at $35, why not in Iowa? So Brad, you're saying 35 to 100. I'm saying, let's go 35. Let's just keep one number, 35. So I really implore those who are listening and the legislators to feel that there's an urgent, emergent uh, cause and take it and get it settled. This. I mean, everybody will support it. Both sides of the aisle will support it. So let's bring it up for vote and let's get it done. Well, thank you, Dr. Bargava. Really, um really you know, powerful testimony there. And I should also add before opening it up to questions, uh, a couple of additional points. Number one is Americans continue to pay the highest cost for insulin in the entire world. Um, and again, insulin has gone up about 600% in price over the last 20 years. Like Dr. Bargarva said, this was invented a hundred years ago. Uh, there is simply no rational rhyme or reason why we should be paying this much for insulin, number one. Number two is what we're proposing here, which is a state cap on insulin costs, has been passed in 21 other states. So um, this is something that can be done. Uh, again, we have seen broad bipartisan support in the Iowa legislature to get this done, and we believe the time has come to get it to the finish line. So Dr. Bargava, again, really appreciate it. You're the expert here. You've okay. seen it. You see it every day. Appreciate your comments. And now um, I'd like to open it up for questions. And like I said, either you can tap in or type in the chat your question or simply take, take yourself off speaker and, and ask your question. Okay, this is uh, Matt Hawk, KTIV News. What about folks who aren't on those state insurance plans? So, um, there are, uh, so that would need to be passed, Matt, at the federal level. And so there, there are a couple of things that we should, we should put uh, in perspective here. Number one is, again, if you are on Medicare, um, you, as of January 1st, have a Medicare Part D, you have a $35 cap on your insulin costs. If you are on a state-regulated plan, we are calling for a cap on those insulin costs. However, if you are not on either of those two options, um, you would, it would require the federal government to pass an additional cap beyond Medicare. Um, we know how fast Washington works. <laughs> and that's why we're saying, um, as far as these state regulated plans, let's not wait on Washington. We can't afford to wait on Washington to get this done. Um, it's too polarized. It takes too long. And we know that we have bipartisan support here to help nearly a quarter of a million people. And so um, there is still going to be a gap. And at AARP, we would still like to see that gap closed, but let's do what we can do now at the state level um, to get something done for the 200 and nearly 250,000 people who are on state regulated health insurance plans. Matt, I would chime in and say thanks for the question. And um, it must be done everywhere. I, I get no justification. To me, utopian world is when everybody has this gap, everybody, right? But we have to start somewhere. And this is a great start. We got to start right here for these 245,000 people. And we can do this. And once we do this, then take it to the next step and the next step. 
and all the insurance that hopefully will consider this cap. That's a good point. Okay, any other questions out there? I'll just say one more time, insulin is not optional and it's not acceptable that in US we are having trouble with the rationing and cost of insulin. Just not, it's not okay. It's not okay. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. Let's get it done. Um, and I'm, I'm confident we can get there. <laughs> so again, uh, appreciate you all joining us. I know we had only, uh, Dr. Bargava, I know we scheduled you for 10.15 and it looks like we're right up against the finish line. You probably have a lot of work Perfect. to do today. Um, I know we do. So thank you everyone. And uh, really appreciate you covering this. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to Alyssa Brammer uh, or myself and uh, we'll get those answered. Have a great day, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Please spread the word. Great day, everyone. Bye-bye.